going on guys today is day one of week two of preseason this here is my first vlog so i'm really excited about it i've never done vlogging before and i kind of want to just give it a try and break out of my comfort zone and just bring more content to my tiktok page and maybe now my youtube page so i'm gonna see how it goes give it a try and we'll see where it goes from here today i just have a group session which i'm leaving in about five minutes from now, it's about 7 a.m. right now, so get there for a 7.30 training session and a nice little group session, it should be fun. So I'll take you along with me and starting off the vlogs today. Let's go. So for this drill here that we started with, the main goal was on taking a positive first touch with barely looking at the ball. You really wanted to look at the ball last second before taking your touch and passing it to the next guy. Each of us did two sets of 10 passes. After that passing drill, we moved into a passing pattern. Yeah. So you'd start with a guy in the cone, he would play in the first ball, yeah. receive a layoff, then play the guy onto the far cone, who would then take a touch and play the guy who lay the ball off through, and it would continue onto the other side. Yeah. Then the next thing we moved into was rondos. The rules were simple. It was one touch and 20 completed passes means the defenders were in again. Also, if the defenders got megged, they'd stay in again. So. We were playing just not light touches. You had to make a clear cut touch on the ball before getting out. So I happened to get stuck in the middle on this one, but overall it was a really good rondo. finish the session off since we had a decent amount of numbers we just played small sided for the rest of the session overall the level was pretty high and it was very competitive as both teams really wanted to win today So just got back from training, it was a pretty good session today, got pretty hot towards the end. We did had a small group training today, so we did some passing drills, some rondos, and then we played small sided at the end. It was a pretty good training session today, very competitive, very high level. So now I'm just going to whip up some breakfast and stretch out and get some recovery going. <laughs> breakfast today nothing too crazy just I have three eggs scrambled with some spinach a little orange banana protein chick which is chocolate protein powder and pb2 and then a glass of water it's typically what I have on like a normal basis I the only time I really switch it up is when I have like Kodiak cakes or pancakes but for the most part it's just eggs and maybe a piece of toast so, as I mentioned in the beginning this is my very first vlog I totally new to the whole idea of vlogging, just talking to a camera by itself and sounding crazy a little bit because there's no one to really talk to besides the camera. But I mean, it's I've done TikToks before, so I really know kind of what I'm doing in terms of film aspects in that kind of sense. But I'm really excited to get this going because the main reason I'm documenting now is because I'm going away to Spain to start playing and I kind of want to just bring people along on my journey through that. So 
got to start somewhere with the vlogs. And I mean, even though I have no subscribers, really, I mean, it's kind of nice just to film and track my progress. So we'll see where it goes from here. You never know where vlogging could take me. I mentioned before we had the group training today. So we started around 7.30, got the warm, done warming up around 7.45ish. So pretty decent session today. I think we stayed for about two hours or an hour and 45 minutes. I can't really remember, but we really had a good session today. It's nice getting a good group of high intensity division one college level players. So just the ball's always moving very fast and the speed of play is very good. So I love that group that I come out with. So there's actually a guy that I train with who's on YouTube also. He doesn't really do vlogs or anything. It's just kind of raw footage. His name's Nalu Mack. He plays at UC Santa Barbara. So he's a former teammate of mine and we just have a really good group of solid division one players out there. So if you want to check some of his stuff out, it'll probably be the link in my description. So yeah, I'll probably throw a couple of his clips in here. So yeah, check them out. I'm gonna munch this food down real quick and then get into some recovery before I have a little bit of running later. But I wanna eat this first just to kind of relax my body and get some fuel in it. So that way it's ready to go for when I have to do the runs. Now that I've done my recovery and just kind of let my legs chill out a little bit, uh, it's time to get my strength and fitness work going. I'm doing my distance run today on the treadmill just because it's a little hot outside, but I do eventually have to step outside to do my sprint of work, something called the Oberon circuit, which just consists of 100 meter runs and then like a body weight exercise at the end of the run, like a push up or a plank or a sit up or something just along those lines so i do eventually have to go outside for that but i'm mainly just going to do my distance run on the treadmill today so get that started now. fitness today I had something called the Oberon circuit which consists of just 100 meters of runs and strides with a bodyweight exercise at the end so I'm going to throw that diagram on the screen just to show you the exercises that I had to do for it in the heat it was extremely tough and I had to do it twice today so it really is good for your fitness and I highly recommend doing this circuit Guys, I just finished the Oberon circuit. I had to do it twice. And that entire running and strength workout, I don't know if you can totally see, but I am drenched in sweat. So, I mean, and it's a freaking hot day outside here in Los Angeles. It's 88 degrees. Inside my house was like 75 when I was running. So I worked up quite a sweat today. So it's now just time to relax a little bit, get some lunch in me and just let, let the legs just kind of hang out because I am tired as hell. Also, so since this is the first vlog, I'm kind of just gonna introduce the animals in case you uh, happen to see them in a few videos. So this right here is Ziggy. He really thinks he's a dog. He's seven. We got it. We adopted him from one of our neighbor's friends and he's just the most chill cat you'll ever find. Loves going outdoors, but I mean, this guy is quite the character. And right here, we got Murphy. Big old Murph, he's our golden lab. He's just a very lovable dog. He doesn't hate anyone. All he wants is attention and to sleep. So I'll let him do that. And then over here, we've got Lexi girl. So she's 13. She's the first dog we got. Oh yes, yes. So I've actually been through a lot. She's had a decent amount of surgeries, but nevertheless, she's still kicking and uh, yeah, so she's like, don't bother me right now because I want to lay down and have my privacy. But yeah, she's 
my favorite, and I think I'm her favorite too. So don't tell my parents or sister that. So we've also got a black cat whose name is Boo. It's kind of weird because I mean it's kind of a weird name for a cat. But either way, he's six and he just kind of chills out in my sister's room. He's a big chicken, so he just kind of hides in there and only likes her until about 10 p.m. at night when he loves everyone. So I actually managed to find said black cat. What's up, homie? You're just hanging out in the sun? A little, a little tan? What? Where are you? Nah, see? You just meows at everyone, dude. But yeah, it's the homie. Oh, what up, buddy? For lunch today, we got a little rice bowl with brown rice, spinach, lettuce, cucumber, some chicken, and some salsa with an apple, some water, and a chocolate protein bar just really good for refueling and just trying to get some energy back in me before another session tonight all right so i'm just gonna eat this lunch up real quick probably shower and then just take like an hour nap just because i'm just wiped from today so yeah i'll see you in a little bit one hour later so it's about 5 30 now got a nice hour and a half nap in just some real quality rest got a really good lunch too and felt really nice to step off my feet after that intense strength and conditioning workout that I had. So now I'm just gonna rest a little bit more before heading out to a UPSL training session tonight. Got invited by a coach who ran into my dad and they got to talk about soccer somehow and told him I played in the development academy system here in the US and how I'm gonna be playing in Europe next year. So really looking forward to getting into a high quality training session again tonight after this morning session. So should be fun. So. 6.15 right now. Training starts at 7.30, but my house is about 45 minutes away from the place anyway. And with traffic here in LA, you never know. So leaving about an hour early, not going to film anything at training just because it's not my team or the normal group of guys. So I'll just talk to you once training's over. All right, so it's about 9.30 right now. Training just finished. I had a really great session today. I definitely felt like I was the best player out on the field. Field conditions were not very good. It's very much your typical park. Um, the level was not very good, in my opinion. I'm used to higher level and just higher tempo passing, but I mean, still having a good session today. They offered me to come back and maybe join their first team, but my priorities are set on Spain. So I'm really just gonna focus on that and honestly just do that program that I'm currently going with. So drive home now and I'm probably gonna have like pasta with chicken just some good carbs and maybe a protein shake and I don't really want to show the footage because I'm really lazy and also the quality is getting really bad as you can see so long drive home and I'm probably gonna get home around 10 30 or 10 15 so either way I'll see you guys tomorrow morning Alright guys, so it's about <clears throat> 9 in the morning, I had a really solid 8 hours of sleep. My legs are very sore from yesterday, just really tight, and I'm not really doing anything extreme today, just have a strength workout for today, and then I'm just going to hang out. I'm going on a road trip tomorrow, so I'm probably just going to pack for that. And yeah, that'll basically just be my day. The little strength workout, maybe some juggling just to get some ball work in for today, but not really going to the field. So yeah, let's get it going. Okay, so before my workout, I'm just gonna have a banana and then a coffee, just some light and just have enough energy to keep me going throughout the workout, but nothing much, probably a glass of water too. Had some multivitamins already, but yeah, we'll get that in the system and then we'll hit the workout. <laughs>
fully finished. It was pretty hot outside today and it was also very humid, so I don't know really know if you can tell by my face or my hair. I'm just really sweaty and just really tired. Um, it was, haven't worked legs in a while on my lower body, so it felt good to kind of just strengthen that up a little bit and then had a just four kilometer run pretty low just to actively recover the body, but it's lunch now and then the pack and just kind of hang out the rest of the day. So since I have no food in my house, nor do I really want to make anything, I'm just going to head over to Chipotle real quick, grab myself a little bowl. I've also got a few errands to do while I'm out. So I do those, then grab my lunch and should take me about half an hour. Hopefully it's not too long of a line, but yep, just going to go grab lunch real quick. Okay, so errands are done. Chipotle has been secured. I just got a bowl today. Wasn't really feeling a burrito, but I'm so hungry. I definitely could have gotten one, but this thing honestly looks like one of the best bowls I've gotten. So I'm just gonna drive home real quick and I'll show you what's inside it once I get home. The guy at the counter also basically gave me double chicken. So pretty stoked about that for only having to pay normal price. It's always the best feeling. So also just realized that I desperately need a haircut and possibly shave my face soon because it's just growing everywhere so after my road trip tomorrow or actually once i come back i'll probably just get half my hair chopped off and shave the face maybe go baby face again or just trim up and just outline everything but yeah really need a haircut okay always before eating it you go Toss this thing up, it makes it so much better. The feet. Oh, oh, that looks so, so good. So in it, I got chicken, some lettuce, cheese, pico de gallo, brown rice, black beans, fajita vegetables, and hot salsa. And to partner along with it, just gonna have a full canteen of water, maybe an apple, but just gonna absolutely bulldoze this real quick. Just finished lunch. The bowl was absolutely amazing and really filling. Did not end up eating an apple like I said I might, but I mean, now I think I'm just gonna hang out a little bit, maybe take a quick nap and just let my body just kind of hang out for the rest of the day just because it's really hot outside and put a lot on my body, even though for the past two days, it is only two days, so I figured my body shouldn't be this tired, but with all the conditioning it's been through, it's probably the best idea to just rest and I'll probably pack after a short little nap just because packing doesn't take me that long and I'm not really packing a lot. So yeah, I'll probably throw in a time lapse just of me packing. So I think now it's nap time though. It's just about six o'clock now. Just took like an hour and a half nap. I feel really refreshed, really needed it after today and yesterday, just a lot of strain on my body so really felt good to just kind of take a nice little nap now i think i'm gonna get into packing I'm only going to texas for like two or three days so i really won't need a lot of stuff just a couple of shirts a couple of shorts and a pair of shoes really um so i think i'm gonna head on that just because we're heading out tomorrow morning at around 2 30 or 3 maybe 3 30 i don't really know but it's a 20 hour drive from los angeles to dallas so I kind of just want to pack now so that way I can go to sleep from like 9 to 2 and still have like a decent night's nice rest. So I'm just going to pack now and I think maybe I'll start editing this video tonight. We'll see how I feel after dinner and so on. So... like I have all the essentials necessary for a road trip. I've got my snacks. I've got my clothes for 
or I'm over in Dallas. So I also brought my running shoes just because I still have some preseason work that I have to do while I'm over there. So I think I'm all ready to go for tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. I've never really driven to Texas. I've been in Texas before, but never really driven there. So it should be fun. But I think I'm gonna cut the video off now just because I wanna go get some dinner and I wanna start editing the whole video. So I think I'm gonna stick with two day vlogs instead of just doing like a whole week vlog, but just because I kinda like it. So it's easier for me to just get ahead on the film and just cuts and edits and all that stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. I also just wanna get to bed a little bit earlier just because I'm waking up pretty early tomorrow morning and still wanna have a solid night's sleep. So this video is definitely gonna be one of the worst vlogs that I've probably gonna ever watched in, but it should be fun. You gotta start somewhere with vlogging. So we'll see how it goes from here and definitely gonna try and edit the hell out of this video because it's definitely gonna need it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you subscribe and just stick around to see my journey through soccer and just some lifestyle stuff. So thanks again, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.